everybody today we are going to discuss here chapter 4 the name of chapter is animal fibers go through the intro introduction animal fibers are that consist of proteins example for silk hairs for wool feathers etc the animal fibers used most commonly both in the manufacturing world as well as by the hand spinners are wool from the domestic sheep and silk types of animal fibers there are mainly two types of animal fibers first one is silk second one is wool note one clothing materials made by animal fibers socks weight shoes sweaters gloves belt cap umbrella raincoat jacket jersey etc let us we are going to talk about the uses of animal fibers first these fibers are generally used in clothing purpose second th these fibers are also used to protect from the cold and heat as well as rain etc third these are the also used as surgical suture parachute windows treatment rock wall hanging bedding etc now we are going to discuss about wool go through the definition wool is the textile or natural fibers obtained from the sheep and other animals these are the example of the some ex uh, animals which provides wool loss first one is sheep alpaca ilama yak in this way other also angora goat angora rabbits simplify that wool consists of protein together with a small percentage of lip lipids types of wool fibers animal fibers sources of wool sheep alpaca ilama yak angora goats angora rabbits and etc now we are going to discuss about the characteristics of features of wool first soft second cream third warm fourth elastic for fifth fiber resistance now we are going to talk my dear student the uses of wool in carpet blanket clothings up up string means use wool in sofa horse blanket etc now the types of wools there are many types of wools first one is cashmere mo mohar angora pasmira alpka sahtus chingori chingora lopi merino wool etc let us we are going to discuss about the production step of wool first shearing this the removal of wool from a sheep or others animals is called shearing this is the first step through which raw materials of the wool is separated from the sheep or get getting by shearing process second cleaning and scoring this is the second step in which the shears wool or means hair is cleaned then after pass through a series of rollers and dryers here is the some pictures related with what um, production of sheep wool uh, first is uh, here is shearing in this picture you can see that the the man is what removing the water uh, hair of the sheep from their bodies in this second step there were the separating the different uh, nature of the what uh, hairs of wool according to their size here were in the uh, rolling in that yarn is separated and according to their, their quality of the yarns is made and the finally the wool is wool fiber is prepared in this way this wool fiber is shearing in market let us 
discuss the third point sorting this is the third step in which separating hair according to its size and texture third dyeing this is the fourth step in which the nature of hair see white or black brown dyed in different colors fifth making yarns this is the final process or on the step in which the wool is prepared the quality is decided on the basis of thickness shine strength and color of the fibers my dear student we are going to talk now about silk go through the definition silk is a natural protein fibers in which like thread yarns is uh, developed from the its silk worm of cocoon that is spine around the coil set types of silk fibers first row silk silk fibers are as it comes from the cocoon is coated with a protective layer called silk gum or sericin it is also called the milk silk second tusa silk silk made from the wild silk worm is called tusa silk third bombayo mori silk it is also called as the mulberry silk which is produced by the domesticated silk worm act as a diet of mulberry leaves almost exclusive so after so a softer finer and more lustrous than tusha silk fourth pure silk this type of silk that do not certain material weighting is called pure silk it is silk other silk here is some pictures that tells the mulberries silk about and raw silk let us go through the talk of about sources of silk actually the main sources of silk is silk moth means the female silk worm their life cycle why do we study her life cycle of the silk moth because of we get the silk thread or yarns from their life according to their there are four life stages of cycle in silk moth first egg second larva third pupa as well fourth adult we go through the their life cycles step the first step of silk moth is egg in which there lays tiny mini eggs on the surface of the plant leaves then after is second stage caterpillars hatches out of its egg and they are active and they can eat mulberry plants of leaves and grow into bigger size the third stage in pupa in which caterpillar silk worms turn into cocoon that is silk thread around itself next while the farming silk from the silk worm, silk worm and this is cocoon or pupa stages of their life cycle is appropriate times for the obtain silk in this condition the cocoon is boiled into hot and then killed its cocoon jumps and silk yarns is only inside its death cocoons this silk farming is done let us student talk the notes related with this topic sericulture what do you mean by sericulture we will talk then we will go to the definition the breeding and management of silk worms from the production of the silk is known as sericulture this is the branch of science 
which deals the what uh, crops farming of uh, silkworm now we are going to talk about the health condition of workers in the wool and sericulture industries first shorter shorter is the name of disease people working in this wool industries sometimes get infected by a bacterium called anthrax it leads to fatal diseases here is the life cycle of silk moth in which whatever i have told you uh, uh, after that you no know, uh, here is uh, given through the this life cycle of the silk moth worm diagram and uh, you can help to more study and get more knowledge through this in this way blood called sorters diseases second respiratory diseases in hallucination of impure arising from cocoons undergoing steaming cooking produces breathing problems asthma and others third scabies and others skin infection this is the first step in it in which the reeling in the boiling of the cocoons in this wood to kill the worms and as a result the skin of the workers becomes raw and blisters peeling of the skin of the hands and feet in this way my dear student your chapters 4 animal fiber is complete i hope that you will study uh, more watch this video and uh, get more knowledge and it may helps to also do in your exercise i hope that you will uh, inspire and like this videos and also subscribe and see thank you for class